Do you hate having to use JavaScript for simple actions like opening a dialog or a modal? Well, this new HTML API is going to blow your mind because coming very soon is a new API called Invokers. And if you haven't heard of Invokers, there are a couple of attributes that you can throw on HTML. You have the command for attribute and the command attribute. The command is what command you are running. In this case, it is show modal. And the command for is the ID of the item of what you're trying to run that action on. Now, invokers are actually coming very soon to the web platform. In fact, they just kind of showed up under a flag in every single major browser. That's right, these are behind a flag in both the technical preview of Safari, Firefox, as well as Chrome, meaning that these things are definitely coming. So what can you do with invokers beyond just opening up a dialogue? Well, in its current state, you'll be able to do things like show modal or close, which will affect a dialogue element, show popover, hide popover for using the popover API without JavaScript. There's even a toggle popover if you want to toggle it. So you don't have to implement your own toggle by showing and hiding. You just can use the, the toggle command for. You can even use custom values, which I'll show you in just a second. And while these are the initial invokers to arrive in the browser, there is a hope that we'll see things like show picker, play pause for audio and video elements, um, doing things like toggling, opening and closing a details element as well. All the types of basic things that you'd think you'd want to be able to have more control over within HTML itself, you'll be able to do with command and command four, and hopefully many of these things eventually as well. So if we want to see this in action, I basically just have a button right here where I have, again, my command four is attached to the ID of this particular dialogue element. And then the command is simply show modal. When I click this, you can see without JavaScript, it pops open. And this functions just like a dialogue would if you've opened it with JavaScript. I still get that keyboard capture. I still get that escape key to close it. And you can see I've also added this step up and step down. Now you see mine is actually working here. Uh, it says that I have a command for step down on the input type of number where the ID is number where the command for is num. So I'm attaching a button with a command of either step up or step down. And you can see without JavaScript, I'm able to increment this number. Now, why does this work? Well, it works because I have my invokers turned on behind a flag in Chrome. And apparently between the last time I used this and this time, the invokers now have the ability to use some of these additional ones like step up and step down. If you want to give these things a try today, at least for the basic ones without a flag turned on, there is a really, really good polyfill available here. I'll make sure that link's available in the comments below, but you can drop this polyfill in and at least take advantage of the dialogue and popover based commands that you see here. And maybe you'll have to wait on some of these, or if these plan to get implemented, maybe they'll drop that functionality into the polyfill as well. Now we've talked about all of the basic invokers that are going to be coming in the version one of this was shipping initially, but let's actually talk about creating our own custom invoker because you can do that too but you will have to reach for JavaScript. If you want to write your own custom invokers, it's incredible. It's really easy to do. You just have a command. As you can see, I have hyphen, hyphen, shrink, grow, reset. See how I have that double hyphen there? And then the command for is all targeting the exact same thing, which was the image itself. You can see the command for, again, is the my image of the ID, my image. Now, to write the custom invoker, all you have to do is add an event listener to the image. Now, typically what you'd approach in this situation is you would add an event listener to the buttons, right? But in this particular case, I'm adding an event listener to the image and I'm listening for a command. Now, when that command happens an event fires off, I can check the event command and check to see what it's equal to if it's one of my custom commands. For shrink, I'm just adjusting a number value here, which is size, I'm decreasing it. And then I'm going to set the CSS property of scale to that size. So you can see when I click shrink here, it gets smaller by half. Same with grow, doubles, 
or uh, go, grows up by half a value, and then reset will take us back to that one initially as we go. So this is all pretty sick. And in fact, this is amazing because you're dropping this in and you're essentially commanding all of this with HTML. Now, I do think that the coolest part about this API is not having to write JavaScript. So I'm much more excited for all of the built-in invokers, especially the ones to, to toggle and control dialogues, popovers, media elements, those types of things. But being able to add your own custom ones is I'm sure it's going to invent a whole lot of interesting and new patterns as well. Being able to control things from HTML with these two sick new attributes. Now, if you want to learn about invokers, there's a couple of awesome places to go. OpenUI has a great blog post on these things. It's well worth your read. As well as MDN, of course, has the amazing documentation invoker commands API. It talks about all of the different things you can do. It talks about uh, the JavaScript interfaces and extensions, how you can actually use this thing if you'd like to use it with JavaScript beyond the default ones. But this is well worth your time. And since these things are already behind a flag in either the preview versions or the actual versions of all of the three major browsers, that indicates to me that this is something you're going to want to pick up sooner rather than later, or at least be aware of that this technique is coming to HTML. And granted, we have a polyfill for these basic ones. And in my experience, that polyfill works pretty darn well. So if you want to give this a try, give it a try. Head on over to my website. I'll have a link to the two demos that I did here if you just want to click around and give this a try. And I'll also link to that polyfill so you can learn more. Either way, let me know what you think about invokers. Are you stoked for these things? I'm I'm very excited. Uh, less JavaScript I have to write is the best JavaScript I have to write. So as always, I'll see you in the next one.